go and what are the arms? Uh, and I just bought this thing here called a Akai MPK 49. Okay, I'm French, so it's a bit hard for me. And the accent maybe might be a bit hard for you guys, but if you listen carefully, I think we can work together and find out how. So the first thing I found with this Akai MPK 49. As soon as you connect it to FL9 or FL Studio, you are struggling to actually map everything oh. to the to uh, or all the case that you need to be trying, but oh. it's not quite what you want. <coughs> so actually, when I push this, oh. you can see on the cable on there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. actually, my cables are actually the one that control oh. the most of the of the drum and the FPC there and then this is not what you want what you want is to be able to push this the, to have your FPC playing there but it wasn't like that at the beginning with me and I'm still looking to find out the, the, the right solution for all this problem with the Akai and BK Formula and I've been on YouTube and there was so much bullshit that one guy was saying that he made a preset called FL Studio blah 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 that it got so much view about that that it got a preset that fixed the whole thing well I found the same preset on the uh, uh, FL Studio um, forum that been posted there and then I downloaded it I used Visex to synchro the Akai to the and, and the software and then to upload the FL Studio inside like as you can see here I bought um, uh, when I come to press it you can see it's the word FL Studio you see but still it's not working properly you know so you actually have to go inside the settings and then try to map things yourself and that's a fucking pain in the ass I wish FL Studio would actually make a preset and send it to us to make life easy with all the setting like properly uh, displayed and then you have nothing else to do instead of just pushing the cable and play. So as soon as you push your, put your cable in, even if you didn't do nothing, if you buy your MPK 49, before you start touching things like crazy like I did, you gotta think about it because what I did first, I was trying to follow all the stuff on YouTube that were fucking bullshit, and then my guy wasn't responding to me with the computer no more. So I spent another three days to make my guy work again with my computer. So just what I want to show here is how the FPC can be mapped, like K by K, pass by pad, to the software here. So as soon as uh, you got you got your uh, because I'm recording with my laptop, so it's a bit of a, of a, a problem because my uh, camera is fucked up a bit. So as soon as you are here, you can see that I push this, and then I can see something called notes. You push this, it's called the note comes, and then if you push and you enter in that note. Okay, you can see, yeah. I know it's simple, but are you feeling? I'm coming, right. Uh, you can see that you got 16A, that the channel, and then 053, and as soon as I just change it to this, 052, I push the same pad, it doesn't respond anymore. I change it, it's respond now to an order, now it's in the is there another one? You see that like the one that turned there? Is the top one? The top the third one on top is the number um, I think uh fourteen or something like that. And then I come back here and do I put it back to fifty three, the same pad, it has changed to another one. You can see? So that's the easiest way to map K by K's. Part by parts, 
So you go to the first pad, you get inside it, and then you turn that node there, that node that pushed you enter, you turn it to the 053, 054, 056, 050, whatever it is, and then you, you check on the software there, and then you know that which, uh, where your pad is, and which sound is producing. Part for work, actually, is producing this, I turn it to 52, it doesn't do anything. I turn to 51, it's on the next one. I turn it to 50, it doesn't do anything. 49 is the last one on top. And I'm going again to 48, it's the one on the bottom. You can see, and I turn it there to 47, it's the next one. So if you do this, you choose, choose any one pad A, you want the song that you want, you can drag and drop it in, you can empty it first. And you drag, you drag your, your sample, you pull it in, and then you push A until you match that thing, and then you go to the next one. But as soon as you finish, don't forget to push Enter and save, because the Enter will save it. So you push Enter, and you go to Part 2, and then you map it with that map again. You map it, and, and then that's the simplest way you can do to map all your pads, and then you can produce the song you want. But as soon as they map, as soon as you change, to the, actually, we are on floor term on the FPC, blah, blah, blah. and then if you change it, maybe you might have to map it again because the preset is not saved. The preset is not that kind of, you know, as soon as I turn it off, every time when I come, I have to restart it. So I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. And I take it like that. So it takes a bit of the piece out of me, but, well, I have no choice. So I hope that helped some people and make it simple because there is so much bullshit on, on, on YouTube and also if you put your cable and it doesn't work just unplug it, plug it back, unplug it, unplug it back and that's sometimes work. mine doesn't work straight forward so what I do, I put the new control first and then it's in, as soon as I touch the node and then I can see it control the, the software I push my, put my uh, MP key, MP key K MPK 49 in, and then when I put it in, the, the MPK take, uh, uh, take control of the software, and then the new control is shut down. I don't know why, but that's the way I set my alarm, and then that's the way I make it work. And then I found out something very simple also. I mean, you can see that the record button there is off, but I push rec, now you can see that red top there is on. Okay? But when you put that, when you put the, the software set, uh, on visits, you can control that red, the, the, the red button. You can con is that, it doesn't work. You have to go to the setting and put MCC, M MCC plus control. You don't, make, you don't leave it on MCC. If it's only on MCC, it won't work. It won't control the, the red button. Play work. See, play work and stop work, everything is working, perfect, you know, and your transport, you transport, you, you go to transport and you put MCC slash MIDI to have the, your red button that be able to control it, if it's not on that, it won't work, okay, well, uh, this is what I, I want to say, because now I push the red, it work, when I change it to, MC, to MIDI only, it doesn't work, you see, it doesn't turn on, I put it to MCC only, it, it work, okay, I go, MIDI, it doesn't work. MCC, MIDI slash MIDI, it work. Control, it doesn't work. So, Control and MIDI won't work. MCC works sometimes and doesn't work. So I keep mine on MCC slash MIDI and then I got more chance to have more control with the keyboard and stuff. I'll bring it all and all the stuff that will order the work. So, Anyway, if you have any question, if I find something else, I will put it. If I didn't explain well, I'm sorry because I'm French, so I'm trying to speak in English. That is not a very easy language for me sometimes. So I enjoy it and I hope that the F, uh, FPC uh, parts can be mapped easy the way I said. Cheers, guys. Have a happy new year. See ya.